outfit that I have here. I know that the colder winter months are creeping up on us, but for now we are still in fall. So I want to show you guys a few transitional kind of like pieces that I picked up as well as I want to try out a celebrity collab collection, which I think it's Shein's first celeb collection with Riverdale star Madeline Pesch. I believe that's her last name. And as always, you guys know my opinions on this stuff is super honest, super upfront. And even though this is a sponsored video, they have in no way. <laughs> the first stuff is a bunch of dresses. I know I kind of did like a little bit of a dress overkill this summer and everything was super colorful. And now that I'm back into the fall, I feel like my true Toronto girl has finally come back and I've just been wearing a lot of neutrals. This is the first dress and it is so figure flattering. It just cinches in at the waist. It's this beautiful military green, which is a really nice transitional color for fall and I got this in a size small and it has this very like linen-y like textured fabric. I'm not a huge fan of dramatic sleeves, but for this one, I do it, especially with Doc Martens. I think this would look really, really cute. And then the next dress I got is also green. It's a little bit brighter and I believe this is from the Madeline Petch collab and it is this pink and green polka dotted midi dress the only thing about this is that it gapes so freaking low you'd have to tape in yourself so extreme because i got this in a size small and it still is like a bit too big i would feel like this fits like a medium so just remember to size down if you're planning to try anything from her collaboration so overall it's a very flattering fit i just personally don't think that this one's for me so i will have to be giving it away to someone that it fits a little bit better the next dress i have here is also from the madeline patch collection and if you guys are looking for a fall dress to wear to a wedding i think that this is the one because it's so pretty it's this beautiful marigold color i got this in a size small and I think with the right heel, this could look so fashion forward and so pretty. I also really like the texture because with this texture, you don't actually have to steam it, which is really, really great. If I were wearing this to an event, I would have to shorten it just because it's a little long for me. It's like not quite a maxi, but not quite a midi. And then this is like the last like actually like legitimate dress that I picked up. This is a slip dress and it's so pretty. It's like this black and white speckle, I would say, because the dots aren't uniform, and this type of cowl neck is so, so flattering. And again, this is a really great transitional piece because you could put on a turtleneck underneath and then a leather jacket, a pair of Doc Martin boots, and this would be super, super cute. And then before I get to all of the sweaters and sweater dresses, I want to show you guys two pairs of bottoms that you guys will be seeing throughout my try on. Um, in like other situations because I wore these as the bottoms for a lot of the sweaters So the first one is this interesting pair of wide leg jeans I got these in a size small and that's the only thing about Shein the sizes is that for denim and like pants They only come in small medium large. So it's really hard to gauge um, I'm usually a size 25 and these fit actually quite big so I feel like this is more like a size 4 to a size 6 pant and they have these little like um, buttons here where you can adjust the waistline. And I know like all these different types of denim are in right now, which is why I want to try these out for you guys. So I actually really like these. Um, have nothing bad to say about that. So the next pair of denim I got is like such a throwback to like the 2000s because of the front detailing. These are like high waisted and the length is just right on for me. I got them in a size small. And I actually really like that these literally look like a pair of jeans I would have picked up at Winners back in middle school. Okay, so moving on to sweaters, tops, and like sweater dress type of things. The first one I have here is this really, really pretty one with this like kind of woven detailing here at the front. And again, I just like love these. They're really, really simple, really pretty, and tucked into a pair of trousers. These always look very, very nice. Um, this reminds me of Lauren Elizabeth so much because I feel like this is so up her alley. But it's basically a ruchable little cropped white sweater. And it has the ruche here. It's really, really flattering, guys. And I know like cropped sweaters like kind of don't make sense for a lot of people, but I feel like that they're so flattering with a pair of high-waisted jeans. This is just gonna be really, really cute and easy to throw on when it gets a little bit chillier. And then I also picked up this, and this reminds me of Gigi Hadid for some reason. I don't know why. I think she just wears a lot of this type of cut. And it is this contrast stitched 
knitted sweater. And I know this is a little bit weird for like the everyday outfit, but I think with a pair of, listen, like high-waisted denim, like faded denim and a pair of like sneakers, I think this could look really like cute athleisure. And I love this contrast stitching detailing. I think it's really, really nice. I got one more item from the Madeline Pesh collab and is this top which is honestly like a mess um which sucks because i love her but like this is like so weird like it's like literally the most awkward shape like i would not be able to wear this it's kind of bizarre um the hook and eye detailing is cute but like i don't know about this one and then the next few things i got are sweater dresses the first one i got is in this striking blue color and you'll see it better in the trial but it's just a plain turtleneck dress and it's one of those things that you can easily wear with pants if you want that more oversized look but i really want to give you guys like the feel of like the length um i love it this color looks so good on blondes so if you are blonde like grab something in this color it suits you so well and yeah i really like it i thought it was kind of weird it came with this like other random tag but we're gonna go with it. And then I also got this navy one and I'm pretty sure this isn't meant to be a dress but I wore it as a dress. Um, I wouldn't wear it outside as a dress like at all. I'd have to put on a pair of pants with it but it's just an oversized like navy crew neck. The next thing I have here is another like sweater dress and this is just an oversized like crew neck dress. I wore this on my Instagram recently guys. So if you guys are wondering where that little outfit's from, most of it is from Shein. So I absolutely like love this. And then the last like actual clothing piece I have before I move on to accessories is this knit dress and I got this in a medium because I wanted it to be a little bit oversized and I love it. I think this is going to be so cute with cowboy boots um, or like the little ankle booties. I think this is going to be very nice for anything that I have to dress up a little bit. I probably could have done a little better with a small to be honest but I kind of like how large the neckline is on the top so... It worked out. I forgot about this top, but I love it. It's like a little cropped cardigan, and I just think it's really sweet. It's gonna look so nice with a pair of cargo pants, and I don't know, it matches my room. Now we're finally gonna go on to accessories. So the first thing I got was the headbands, and these came in a pack together. So the first one's like leopard. Second one is black. I actually wore this on my Instagram as well, and you guys really seem to like it. I know the headband trend and the whole like Gossip Girl vibe is definitely making a comeback. So I definitely wanted to have something that I can kind of just add to my outfits and make them look a little bit more special. And then I got four handbags. And you guys know I love my baguette purses. I thrifted a lot of them. Got two others in a similar shape. One is black and one is brown. I know there's a lot of other stores that are carrying these right now, but I believe Shein is carrying them for the best price. So. Yeah, I really like these. I think they're really, really cute. And then I also got this mini bag, which is super impractical. I thought this was going to be a lot bigger because, like, it barely fits over your shoulder. It's very impractical, so this one's like a meh. The one I've been carrying around the most, however, from Shein is this black one. And you guys know this looks like something really similar to Ritzia right now. I'm sure a bunch of other stores are going to be carrying a nylon purse like this because it's very Prada-inspired. This just is like a catch-all for everything it goes with every outfit and i'm really liking this like nylon bag trend i think it's sick you can definitely pick one up on there because i highly recommend that it's been lasting me and it goes with everything i also got this belt and i think it's just going to be cute to belt with sweaters and stuff like that i love this like kind of like eye what are they called these like not egglets mm -hmm. really really cute with pretty much everything here and then i also got a bunch of scrunchies which are pretty self-explanatory so i'm going to link those in the description box below and then i'm going to top it off with two pairs of sunglasses first pair i have these are so fashiony and cool i freaking love these and then i also got this pair that's very very like lizzie mcguire like millennium and I like them as well. I'm really into these like brown like cream tones lately. I don't have a lot of brown sunglasses. So I think these pairs are going to be really, really cute with like certain outfits that I'm shooting on Instagram and stuff. So guys, that is the end of this video. I just want to thank Shein again for sponsoring um, this monthly vid, kind of monthly vid. If you guys have any questions about anything, leave a comment in the section below because I try to get back to everybody as much as I can. And I'm going to go. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.